Hi, I'm Lanka. I've been gone. I don't know if y'all know because I really didn't mention it that much. I went back to school, so I've kind of shifted away from YouTube. I'm not leaving though because I have projected that I'm going to graduate next winter. I'm just like brainstorming a bunch of things in my life right now. I want to move and when I do it, recording everything. We are going to be grinding on YouTube, getting a job, moving out, all of that. I'm going to become an adult next year and I want y'all to stick by my side while I do that. I'm in front of my closet, which Y'all know what that means, right? I'm doing a closet clean up. And I know people are gonna be like, you did one just a few months ago, which it's probably even longer than that, to be honest with you. But I have opened the doors more, going to the Goodwill bins, thrifting clothes. I decided I don't wanna shop retail anymore. I went to California, I went to the bins and I did a tiny bit of shopping, like barely anything. I need to start sticking to this routine. I wanna get organized in my life, in my daily activities. One thing that I'm really gonna like start pursuing more is when I buy something, I'm going to remove something from my closet. This is annoying. I'm trying to prevent this from happening. I don't really enjoy the process of doing all this, especially the aftermath when I'm like donate or sell and then I'm selling and it's like a huge pile of clothes that I have to sell. That's really frustrating. So what I'm gonna do instead is every time I buy something, I'm gonna count how many things I bought. One, two, three. Go into my closet, take three things out, sell them or donate them and I'll be done with them. I need to transition from summer to winter and I've got a ton of summer stuff in here that needs to go into a different box. So we're also going to do that today guys. Let's begin. I just bought fake Boston, Birkenstock Bostons. So I'm really excited for those to come in the mail. I'm going to be talking so much in this video. Please be prepared. Also, I'm sorry to feature editing me because I'm going to be talking a lot. If you have any recommendations for white high top shoes, I love these ones so much. But Air Forces to me are slightly dated. But obviously, if you love Air Forces, continue to wear them because they are a universal shoe that look good with pretty much any outfit. But these ones for me personally, just like more like hype beast type shoes. So if y'all have recommendations for like mid to high top shoes that are clean white like this would love that preferably with a more like a square shaped toe box these are fake too actually with fur i'm talking way too much i know y'all don't care about my shoes but these are fake birkenstock boxes with fur they're really great they're like one of my most worn shoe these are all replica shoes as well i need them to sponsor me again i love fashion plug be going on their website and window shopping all the time i was sponsored by them before they sent me like replica shoes and stuff they're literally incredible like you could not tell the difference between them my best friend got me these like sliding things for furniture for my birthday and in order to move this out i need those sliding things and she borrowed them from me so she's bringing them over today but once i get those things this thing is coming out and we're gonna figure out where to put it because i have no idea let's just go here i know i don't like things in this section typically i'm more organized with this it's gonna be different this time i really like this shirt okay call me crazy it's one of the more interesting shirts that i have i have no idea how or when I would ever wear this, I have to keep a basic. I can't be throwing out basics. I dyed this brown, it came out patchy. But guess what? I still like this shirt. But also, guess what? I don't wear it. I'm gonna keep it because I like it, but I just but don't, I just like, don't it like, like it on me. Like, I feel like an imposter wearing this, like a girly imposter. I'm gonna sell it because I'm not gonna wear it, I'm realizing. I feel like I have a love-hate relationship with this. This I'm obsessed with. I really like it. It's by The Gap and it's cute. This is a basic, I have to keep basics. closet. I didn't take that many things out. I'm not really in the mood to be getting rid of a lot of stuff. I'm going to get rid of a ton of hoodies because I've kind of determined like what type of hoodies I like to wear and I haven't really been wearing like leggings and stuff all that much. I like to dress up if I go out. I think I hate this color. So this is all summer clothes. Now we're left with a bunch of collared shirts. I'm also trying to kind of like organize everything in there because it's, it's definitely a mess. These are my favorite hoodies. They take up so much space. I'm going to put them in another area. I'm going to list my favorite playlist down below. This playlist, it's great. I have a technique with my Spotify playlists where I put all of my listened to songs at the moment in one playlist and I delete them and move them to another playlist once I'm done with them to sort them out. Just have like a strong rotation of good music. It's called rotation. Highly recommend y'all do it. It's one of my best ideas ever. <laughs>
this is what I'm keeping for like the winter season. Everything I took out was like shorts, short sleeve shirts, thin shirts, tank tops. I want to take this thing out today and put it somewhere. I don't know my room. This is the smallest room in the house because it's actually the guest bedroom. I have no idea where I'm going to put this. Thing. And I'm thinking about putting my bed this way, putting this thing this way. But then my TV is mounted to the wall. So I'm going to have to kind of watch TV a little bit funny, but it's fine, I guess. Actually, it didn't end up being fine and I hated it. And I moved my room again after I filmed this. Just keep watching and see how bad it is, I guess. I have no idea. I wish my room was just like a foot or two bigger. I just want to get my room like very clean and minimalist looking. I need to figure out my bed situation. I really like where my bed is. I wish I didn't have this giant window though because I do wake up cold in the morning and I want to put this thing back out here. So I need to figure out the best way to do that. Right now I'm thinking I'm going to put my nightstand in my closet. Call me crazy, but I have to do something. Like I just have too much furniture. Like, I don't know. I like my room to look more like simplified. Maybe if I put my laundry basket in my nightstand in my closet, it might look a little bit better. I also have bins of like pants under my bed. I might go through those as well, like pants and like electronic assortments of things. I need a better mailbox because this is my box for my nail stuff. I need to go through this as well as throw things out because this is out of hand. TV on this wall and put this mirror on this wall, but I feel like that's a very difficult task to be doing. I put my thing in the corner over there. Everything looks cute. That's not going to fit here, this length from my bed to the door. So I might put my desk over here. I wish I could move this stupid TV. And then I'm gonna put my hamper in the closet and my nightstand. And my nightstand will go good in the closet. So yeah. <laughs> closet. This went in the wall to hold up the giant hole and there's already holes there so I think we'll be pretty good and I have a drill. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay. That was easy. Now for this hole. Guys, I built that just now. I built that myself. I don't even know what I'm gonna put down here. There's endless opportunities for stuff. I'll put my shelf back too. I thought I wasn't gonna put my shelf back, but I think I'm gonna put it back just so I have some more room. I have an issue. I have this thing. It's this like things in each drawer. I purchased that at TJ Maxx before I went to a dormitory because I thought that was like a cute little helpful thing and it was great, but now it's low key and eyesore and I put my fridge on top of it for the longest time, but that fridge don't work. I got it replaced six times now because every time it just stops working after two to three months. So I'm just not gonna have a fridge in my room anymore. Doesn't work. My idea is I want to get more shelf, like more baskets for the top of this. And I'm gonna put everything in the baskets just so it looks seamless. And I'm gonna put those in the baskets too. I don't know what to do with this. It's literally an eyesore. This turned into a room cleaning video. Like this was a closet clean out. I guess I'm gonna title it like cleaning out my closet and then accidentally rearranging my whole room. Like if I had multiple 
little baskets, I would get rid of this thing and this thing with my nail stuff in it and put it all up there and it would look really good. My camera died, but I arranged under here a bit. Let's have a tour. I put the shelf in, put my shoes back in here. These are like my little cardigan with no sleeves, like vest type things. I love vests, so I feel like this is actually good for me because they're my favorite thing to wear. Then I put the rest of my sweaters in the closet that I had in the other room. So this is nice and stuffed up. But then I put a bunch of my basic shirts over in this corner because I have a lot of basic shirts and they were like folded up in one of my drawers. But it's really hard to keep them organized because I wear a basic shirt almost every single day. So I've got them out here now. They're a little bit easier to see. Nightstand's in there now. That's in there now. That's in there now. I ordered cubes from eBay. They were like 20 bucks or something. So they'll come in a few days and I'm going to put all the cubes up there. It'll look very seamless and I'm going to try to condense this like thing here that I told you guys about the purple thing and this thing here. I just have like hats and decorations in this and it's very ugly even though like you should close your closet. My room is still a disaster. Still looks not good but I'm liking the vibe of it. It's looking significantly better but yeah I'm still cleaning. This turned into a cleaning video like I meant for this to just solely be a closet video and now it's a whole cleaning video. done cleaning for the day. I still got like a ton of extra things to do on the floor, but I like where my room's at. I'm gonna play Fortnite. I'm about to lay like <laughs> and just play <laughs> Fortnite. Wish me luck because this is about to be uncomfortable, but a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do and I'll figure it out. This isn't uncomfortable. This is not okay. Well, I'll get back to you guys once I get the bins for my closet and that's gonna look way better once I get those bins. So I'll catch you guys later. It's been a handful of days. More than that. It's been like two weeks. I'm gonna be honest with you though. My room has been stagnant since I cleaned it last, mostly because I was lazy. I got sick in like the weirdest way. I don't even wanna get into it. I was just dizzy for like multiple days. Now I'm 100% fine, I'm good. But guys, I just sold this thing. I put it in this room because it was in my room for like two weeks and now I'm, I'm selling it. The lady's coming right now and then I have to go get my dog from the vet. So thanks lady for being a little bit late. That's okay. Now that I've sold this, I'm going Going to clean my room and you guys will see the final product. I really like it. The TV is entirely impractical still. I haven't watched any shows or anything, but I usually watch things on my Mac, so it's quite understandable. I'll show you guys the rest of my room in a bit. I wanted to record it. She came to the door. She did not have to come to the door. I was about to walk outside. This will pay for my dog's anal gland expression. I was gonna vlog today. The weather is so awful that I don't want to anymore. I have a handful of things left. Laundry, I could hang up, gotta make my bed. I'm gonna put on the Harry and Meghan Markin. <laughs> the Harry and Meghan Markle. <laughs> <laughs> the Harry and Meghan Markle documentary because I just started watching it. It's kind of interesting. So you know I have to watch watch it. Okay, let's resume cleaning. I finished my room. I'll show you the closet. It's 
way more organized. Looks way better. Uh, I got my nightstand over there now. Not mad at it. It fits, so that's pretty good. Then we've got this here. All my books, my Christmas countdown, my record player, etc, etc. This, which speaking of, I actually need to switch these out for winter clothes, but I'm not gonna do that anytime soon. My new corner. <laughs> Listen, I just like these things, okay? And I keep buying them. That's Thanos, and I don't know why he's upside down, but not much else to say about all that. But I'm done, done cleaning. I just sold the gray bin, like I showed you earlier. I'm trying to sell the purple one still. Hopefully someone will buy it soon. But besides that, my room slowly getting less decluttered. I know I have a lot of stuff. Don't comment it. I know already. I'm trying to get rid of things, but I'm not trying to get rid of them where I'm throwing them out. I'm trying to get rid of them where I recycle them or sell them, because I don't want to be throwing things out. You know what I mean? But yeah, guys, this is it. This is real. This is me. This is my bedroom. Hope you guys enjoyed my room cleaning video that accidentally- actually this was a closet clean out that accidentally turned into a room cleaning video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want it. I love you guys. Finish the heart maybe? Peace out Girl Scouts. Catch you on the flip side in my next video. Bye!